Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about nested if statement. Now, what it means is we can put an if statement in an if statement. Now, a good way to see it is with an example. So let's create a program um, that is going to basically have a student enter their school. Now, we want to check a couple of conditions. First of all, we want to check to see if you you uh, went you you either got the pass mark or above. So we're going to set a pass mark over here of let's say 80. So the score is going to be out of 100. Sorry, so 80 is, <laughs> I can't type. All right, so 80 is going to be our pass mark. So if you got 80 or above, then you pass the test. If you got, um, let's say, below 80, then you fail the test. Now, another thing we are also going to check is if you got a distinction. A distinction is if you got a 90 or above. So I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call it distinction um, pass mark, I guess. And I'm going to set it to 90. All right, so now we're going to ask the user to enter their score. So I'm going to use the input function, and I'm going to display a prompt to the, to the user. I'm going to say, please enter your score. And so the input function is going to pop up some kind of text box. And it's going to allow the user to type in a value. Now, whatever the user types is going to be returned. It's going to be sent back to us, okay, as a string. Now, we need a place to store that value. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable, and I'm going to call it user score. Now, the input function by default returns a string. Whatever the user has typed, it's going to return it back to us as a string. But we need a number so we can work with it, we ca work with, it with calculations and so on and so forth. So that means we need to convert this string that is being returned to us to a number. Well, in this case, let's convert it to a float, right? Because the score could be 80.5 or 79.8. So let's convert it to a float. So I'm going to call the float, float function around the imp input function. I'm converting everything that the user has typed into a float. And then we're going to store the value in user score. So user score is going to be actually a number. Okay, so now... Again, we are checking for a couple of conditions. We are checking to see if the user got uh, got more, got the pass mark or above. So let's let's start with that. So we have our if to if clause. We are going to say if the user score, okay, is greater than or equal to the pass mark, right? Then you've passed. So we are going to print out the message and say that you passed, right? else then we're going to print out the message and say that you didn't pass All right so okay so it's 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 uh, basically uh, 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 kind of straightforward if you got 80 or above right then you pass else then you didn't pass else means you got below 80 all right so now we are talking about nested if statement we can put an if statement in, a, in another if statement so now we need to check to, to see for, or check for those students who got 90 or above, who got a distinction. Now, if you if your score is actually below 80, then you we can't even then you're out. You you can't get a distinction. This a distinction will be for only those who got 80 or above. So once we check for, okay, once we check this condition, if user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark, if the user score is greater than or equal to 80, then we can check. Then th th that means that those students have a chance of getting a distinction. So right in this block, let's remove this yet. Uh, um, let's, let's not type this yet, remove this condition. Once we check to see if the user passed, now that means the user has a chance of also getting, it's possible the user got maybe 90 or above. If we know this, the user score is greater than or equal to it, it's possible, they, it's possible it's over 90, or it's actually greater than or equal to 90. That's when they have a distinction. So right when we check if the user passed, we check, okay, we have, we have another if statement, and we say if the user score, okay, is greater than or equal to distinction, the distinction mark, pass mark, so colon, we follow the same indentation rules, right, Every, uh, all the code that is supposed to run when this condition is true is indented, we follow that, with, and, and this is the code that runs. It doesn't matter if it's another if statement. It's indented. 
And once we get to this point and we have a, another if statement, remember with every if statement, statement, the code that runs when the condition is true is indented. Okay, we, um, the code that runs when a condition is not true, in this case else, is also indented. So over here, the code that should run is also going to be indented. We follow the same rule. This is an if statement. This is the code that runs when this condition is true, so it's indented. And the code that is going to run when this condition is true is also going to be indented here. So if the user score is greater than or equal to the distinction mark, then let's print a message and say that you got a distinction, right? Something like that. You got a distinction. This my typing is bad. Distinct distinction. Okay. So first we've checked like we've checked to see if you passed. If you passed, then there's a chance that you got a distinction. Let's check to see if you got a distinction. If you didn't get, if you passed and you didn't get a distinction, so else, again, the else follows this if clause. This else is not for this if clause. This else is for this if clause. And you see the, the I in line. Think of this as a separate if statement. This else is for this if statement. We are nesting. We are putting another if else statement, okay, in another, in the first if else statement. We are nesting them. Right, so if the user score is not greater than or equal to the distinction mark, then that means they, you know, they passed, but they didn't get a distinction. So let's just print out a message and say, you passed. Right, so this may seem a bit confusing, but it actually it's not once you, um, you know, get used to it. So we are checking to see if a student passed. If they passed, and they, which means if they got a score greater than or equal to 80, that means that, you know, they got 80 or, 80 or above. 80 or above, in, 80 or above includes, you know, it's, it's possible the user got 90 or, or 90 or above too. They, they can get 85, 89, they can get 95. Now, for those students who pass, we want to check for those that got a distinction. If you pass, we are checking to see if your score is actually greater than or equal to, to the distinction mark. And if that's the case, we are printing you got a distinction. If you didn't get a distinction, that means that you pass. Your score is greater than or equal to 80, but it's not greater than or equal to the distinction mark. It's not greater than or equal to 90. So we just tell you you pass, right, because it's greater than or equal to 80, right? Else means that your score is not greater than or equal to 80. So in that case, you you know you didn't pass, right? So we are nesting another, an if statement in, an, in, a, in the outer if statement here. So let's test this program and see. So please enter your score. I'm going to enter 50. And then hit enter. Now it says you didn't pass, right? Because my score is uh, is actually not greater than or equal to the pass mark. It's less than that. So else else means that my score is not, is not greater than or equal to the pass mark. It's less than 80. So you didn't pass. Let's run this program again and type in 80. Now it's going to check if user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark. 80 is greater than uh, sorry, 80 is greater than or equal to 80. As a matter of fact, 80 is equal to um, the pass mark. Okay, it's checking to see if it's greater than or equal to the pass mark. And if that's the case, it's going to check to see if the score of 80 is greater than or equal to the distinction mark. It's going to check if 80 is greater than or equal to 90. It's not, so it's just going to tell me I passed. But if it was greater than or equal to 90, then it will tell me I have a distinction. So when I hit enter over here, it says you passed. Okay, you passed only. I'm going to test the program with a score of 95. Hit enter. But before that, I'm, it's going to check if the user score 95 is greater than, or, greater than or equal to the pass mark. See, 95 is greater than or equal to 80. Now it's going to check to see if 95 is greater than or equal to the distinction mark. Okay. First of all, I passed. So it, get, it gets into this block. 95 is greater than or equal to the distinction mark. So it tells me I got a distinction. Okay. And then. Again, with the if statement, once one side of it runs, it exits out of the if, of the if statement. It exits out. Once one side of it is, is, is correct, it exits out. In this case, this side of it was correct, so it runs the block. It runs this, so the else, uh, else part doesn't run. And with this if else, because 95 is greater than or equal to the distinction mark, it runs you know, what happens when this is true, when the Boolean expression is true, and then it, it exits out of the else part, okay? Um, just like what, what we, just like the way we described it in when we were talking about if statements for the first time.
Yeah, it, it's it's either um, it's, it's either something is going to happen when it's true, okay, or something is going to happen when it's false. Both can't happen at the same time. All right, so I'm going to hit enter here, and it says you got a distinction. So I know that maybe I talked about it for 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 a bit, but I wanted to be clear. That's why. All right. So if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.